They walk everywhere, so oh, I don't know okay. if that makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. I definitely don't want to say that. And many times in the construction industry, a manager will simply come and place a set of drawings on the table and say, build this by this date for this much money. That's not how I like to lead. I took that set of drawings and I put them on the table, but I didn't unroll them. And I said to the men and women sitting around the table on my team, I want to share what we're building. A performing arts building, it's going to have beautiful brick, and earth colored mortar, uh, steep roofs, natural slate. And now let's open the drawings and see how we're going to partner to do this. And when I looked around the room and saw the faces, I knew I had them at the heart level. We had a nurses day party for nurses. Our operations manager was not here, so it was just kind of like my first time, like, and I was by myself, and it was just crazy. And our dietitians were helping out, patient experience managers were helping out. Everybody was just jumping in, and it, it turned out to be a really, really big success. We're playing soccer and football into late November and December. In 2014, we had snow, and it fell the morning of a NCAA tournament game. It's a little difficult trying to remove snow from grass without tearing up the field and our team got together, we all got shovels and blowers and stayed right through till the end of the game cleaning the field of snow so that we could play a soccer game. How do you create a vision that people want to be a part of and then go out and do it? That's a piece that I love. That's why I've worked here since 1996 and that's why I'll continue to work here. It's a great place to be.